Hi dolls, Tanika here at HCC, that's Hillsboro Community College in um, Tampa. And today we're interviewing the president and founder of Advisor. Um, and we're gonna tell you a little bit of what that is about and ask her some, you know, really pressing questions and exciting deep stuff about um, what we're going to be talking to you about today. Just to give you an, just to give you a little bit of a hint of what it's about, Miss Amanda, shoot them with the statistic, please. Statistic. Let's see. One in three women in the ages of 18 to 24 are in a domestic. I can't talk. Domestic violence relationship. Sorry, are abused. So one in three women in the ages of 18 and 24. So basically, high school and college students. So what this is sounding like to me is like. Your friend, a family member, mm -hmm. close relative, somebody that you know, your neighbor could be, could be one of these people, one of these three people. So um, this is a topic that, you know, it's talked about, it's touched on, but it's not spoken about enough, I don't think, especially in college and in high school. You hear more about safe sex and alcohol than you do about domestic violence. And it seems to me like more people have common sense about domestic violence, I mean, about um, safe sex and um, drug abuse and alcohol mm -hmm. more than they do about domestic violence. So, um, that's why I wanted to do this video today, and I'm very excited and very honored to be talking to you today. Thank you. How about you tell me a little bit about what made you decide to start this group, Advisor? What is it about? Well, Advisor, um, what it's about basically is it's a club at HCC Ebor, and it stands for Against Domestic Violence and Situational Occurrences and Relationships. And I made it because it's just there was nothing, there was no outlet. I was a victim of domestic violence for about two years when I was 16 and then when I was 19, in that whole, those two years. Um, or is that three? 16, 17, three years. Three years. Something like that. Um, so basically, I was a victim and I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to talk to. I, there was just no one said anything about it. The only thing I ever got was a little old lady gave me a little card. And I was, it was, you know, it said some shelter house. I was like, oh, no, I don't need this. I mean, obviously I did, but... Um, there was just not, I couldn't find anything. So I figured, well, if all of all these people are going through it, I must not be alone. I have to start this. So I also couldn't find any free counseling, any at least not payable, but um, able to pay counseling for a, a college student. So I made an advisor. Okay. Um, could you go into a little bit more um, depth about your personal relationship mm -hmm. with domestic violence and, you know, how that inspired you to start a group for other young girls yeah. on, in college? Yeah, sure. Um, it's basically, like I said, when I was 16, I met my abuser. Um, he didn't physically abuse me until I was 17, so I, or actually 18, so I really didn't know at first. I just thought, oh, he's really emotional. Like, he emotionally abused me, but I didn't know. Like, he would say, call me a bitch, and just whore all these things telling me I was stupid and I wasn't good enough and um, I'm just like okay you know what he's emotional that's a good thing I guess you know it's a good thing for us to be emotional and sensitive I, I was and like passionate. yeah I'm like I'll just you know okay I'll take it with a grain of salt well then he um, physically started pushing me to the ground and um, he would choke me and, and just push me into walls and, and hit me and like chase me so and I was like well this is not right this is not good and um, like I said, I couldn't find anything. I went online, I Googled, I couldn't find like a shelter house, I couldn't find where to go. I'd stay in hotels sometimes. I'd pay, you know, stupid amount of money to, to, to sleep in a hotel, so I'm to sleep at the house, right? I lived with him for a year and a half. Um, and so I just figured, well, I mean, I cannot be alone. Like I couldn't find anybody. I thought I was so alone. I thought there was no one else like me that was going through any of this. So I just, um, that's what really, I think, forced me to make it, is I'm a college student. I wish that if somebody had been on campus and made some kind of statement or some kind of saying something, then I would have felt more comfortable and been able to get my situation earlier. Okay. Well, one more question before they kick us out. What made you decide that you did not want to be in this situation? What was your breaking point for you? Um, my breaking point is kind of a, are they mad at us? a serious one. Basically, my abuser had a, a brother and his brother had a girlfriend and the girlfriend was going to, to leave him because um, she was also I think I believe she was being abused I don't know for sure I can't say that but I believe she's also being abused um, and so she was leaving 
and basically he didn't want to have that so my ex's brother shot her and killed her and shot the guy he was with she was with and then he killed himself and so the day that I saw her dead body coming out of the house on a stretcher I thought that could be me and I, I had always thought bad thoughts before I always thought you know oh my gosh I'm gonna die but just thinking just seeing somebody else die it was it wasn't right for me like I need to get out I need to leave so just, okay. the, just the thought that it, it's that bad when you think I'm gonna be in this yeah. I could be that that's what got me well, do you have any places that you can send anybody out there who is going through this, who's mm -hmm. watching this right now, where can they go? Toll-free number or... Yeah, uh, there is, I don't know the exact number, but it's the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Just Google it and you can look it up. You can even look up on your on your computer and it has a little link where it won't show your history. So if, like, if your guy or woman is hurting you and they're looking through your computer history, they won't look through it. But yeah, I think it's one 800 something it's domestic violence hotline just google it and it'll help you and they can give you a shelter they can give you a place where you are no matter where you are in the united states they can give you information okay well thank you thank you so much for your time mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching this um if you're out there and you're going through this you're not alone mm -hmm. we're here for you and until next time stay gorgeous dolls bye, bye.